Today, we are going to be talking about Microsoft's proctored exams or exams that you can take from home via Pearson View. So this is not going to be a specific video about any particular exam. Uh, it's going to be a very generalized video for all the Microsoft certifications that you can do from home. And by the way, you can do all of them, right? So none but. Uh, so all the certifications, since they can be done from home, uh, they have to be done from your system, right? You have, they have to be done from your computer. Uh, so we are going to be talking about a few things right here about the system and how this goes and what exactly happens during this examination. Mm, also, since uh, the start of this COVID situation, this type of exam has become really, really popular. It's been around for about four or five years now, uh, but still it has become really popular right now. So I've been getting so many questions about this, that how to do this exam, what the experience is like, is anybody watching? So let's answer that. Okay. So to answer the first question, is anybody watching? Yes, it's a proctored examination. It's a, it's a test that's being monitored by Microsoft. So what happens is that you need a system that has a working webcam and a working microphone, right? Every system has a working microphone, so don't worry about it if you have a laptop. Uh, you have to install an application called uh, OnView. I'll link it right here, some, somewhere around here that you can download it. Uh, so you can find it in the description as well. You can download that application, install it on your system in order to get the, in order to start with this exam. So technically what they would do is they would do a couple of system checks, whether your system is uh, eligible for the exam to be taken or not. They would check your internet connection and stuff. And I'm going to talk about uh, what do you exactly require before you take the exam too? So don't worry about it. Uh, now, what happens in this test? Who is watching you? First of all, in this exam, there's a proctor. That's, that's technically, that's looking at you from your webcam, through your webcam. So no tapes. Uh, you cannot disable the webcam. You cannot disable the microphone. What will happen if you do that? Your exam is going to get cancelled. Right. You're not going, uh, the exam is going to be terminated just because uh, Proctor would tell you a couple of times to uncover your microphone or to uncover your camera. But still, if you do that, uh, they are allowed to cancel the exam and they do cancel exams for people whose behavior they find suspect. Right. So that, with that out of the way, uh, what do you need and what kind of a room do you need? First of all, you need a closed room you need a room you can't do that in a hallway or in an open area or stuff like that this this would not work you need a room where there are doors that are closed nobody's coming in nobody's going out most important thing there is no noise from anybody there's no sound from anywhere else right you will have to give a brief overview of your room as well uh, you would uh, not just a brief, as you can see right now my surroundings can be seen but this is just one frame uh, so you will have to show them uh, or you'll just have to post the pictures actually via that application, the on view application. You have to post pictures of your room. You have to click a picture from here, click the picture from the front, click the picture from what your desk looks like. So there are going to be three or four different pictures from different angles that you have to click from the room and you have to click a picture of a closed door. Uh, why is that required? Because they want to ensure that you do not have any suspect material anything laying around that can help you, any person who's right here that can help you and whisper the answers to you, it's not going to work. With that being said, nothing, no material that you can write on, uh, no pens are required, no notepads or stuff like that, nothing within the arm's reach, you can't have that, right? Keep that away. If you have any posters on the wall, if you have any suggestive material or a whiteboard in this, just erase the stuff, just remove the stuff from the frame right you should not have anything like that in the room like i said exam could be terminated right so don't try to pull any of that stuff up right uh, i've seen a lot of people who uh, <laughs> say that uh, uh, can't i use a dual monitor system i can keep a monitor here keep a monitor here somewhere sneaky i'll sneak in a phone don't try to do that please uh, when you give the pictures or when you're uh, during the exam you're looking at another mo it's very easy to see that you're cheating Right, so don't try to cheat the system. Whether you're doing it by a by, a, by a, an additional monitor or a cell phone, also on the system that you're working, you are not allowed to have an additional monitor. It has to be a single monitor system. If you have an additional monitor, unplug it. That's the end of it. Right, that's it. That's all you need to do. Uh, now let's talk about the system for a second. 
what uh, the system is supposed to be. Would any computer work? Technically, no. Uh, for system, there are certain requirements. Let's see the operating system requirements. Operating system requirements are Windows 8.1 and above. Uh, if you have a Windows 7 system and Windows XP system, so uh, it, it would not work very, very well. Uh, I know some people have been running the software on a Windows 7 system and it has worked, but Microsoft particularly stated that Windows 7 is not supported anymore. You know it's end of support. Uh, also, it would work on Mac systems too, right? So it will work on Windows, it will work on Mac, but there's a bummer for people who have been using Linux. This software does not run. This Proctor exam is not supported on Linux systems. Your domain systems would not work. Domain joint systems or office systems because for most people, they are not allowed to install any software on there. If you are in fact allowed to install a software, then go ahead with it, not a problem. So it's recommended that you should do with a home system or a personal laptop or something like that, this exam. Uh, other than this, what about the internet connection? Uh, before, Since before the COVID situation, uh, whenever somebody asked me, should I take this proctored exam or should I take the exam from center, at the center, where should I take the exam? I, I would have always said then that go to the center, take the exam. Why? because they have a more stable internet connection, their systems are uh, compatible with the exam, so you have no surprises in, in that situation. But now, since we have to take this exam right here, make sure you have a stable, stable internet connection. Now, there's no choice but to take the exam at home. So make sure you have a stable internet connection. What is a stable internet connection? Uh, good internet connection that what Microsoft considers the minimum requirement here is 3 Mbps uploads and 2 Mbps, oh, my bad the other way around. It's 3 Mbps download and 2 Mbps of upload is the minimum requirement and that too a system should be stable or that too the internet connection should be stable. You do not want your exam to be cancelled because of an internet issue because of an internet outage. That's going to be super frustrating so try not to do that. Uh, you're not allowed to take any breaks other than this. Don't take any breaks. Don't. Okay. If you get up from your seat and go somewhere, your exam will be terminated. If you're out of the frame of this camera, you cannot take this exam any further. It will be terminated. Uh, if they hear somebody else's voice in the room, even if they hear yours, the exam can be terminated. Actually, the proctor would be in contact with you via chat or via the calling, right? So they would ask you that, uh, can you stop making the noise or is, is there somebody in the room? Uh, there have been there have been cases with my uh, with, with my former students is that whenever they hear the noise in the room they would tell you to actually pick up the laptop and show them what's going on in the room via the webcam whether there's the door is shut or not so they have the power to do that and if you refuse to do it uh, they can terminate your exam so don't do anything that's going to put you in harm's way that's going to put your reputation on stake so I, I would suggest uh, I would suggest refraining from that. Can you take a water break? Uh, no, you can't take any breaks in these uh, exams. Uh, but if you really want a drink or if you get nervous during this, I, I do get nervous during the exams. I, I need a sip of water or something like that. Keep a clear glass right in front of you. Don't keep any other colored bottles or anything. Just keep a clear glass within your range, within your frame, so that you can pick it up and you're drinking it so that's visible That's just water that you're consuming is the exam going to be any way different uh, from the exam that you take from your at your center is the difficulty going to be higher or lower is it going to be an easier exam or is, no it's the exact same test that you would have taken at the center is the exact same test that you would take right here right so one more question that's uh, often asked is that do I still need my photo IDs and identity proofs for this exam as well? Yes, you do. You can either use your driver's license or you can use your passport right here. But again, you need your soft copies, right? So keep those soft copies, keep the printouts or scans right here within your system, within your desktop so that when the app wants you to upload them, you can upload them straight away, right? So, so that you don't have to put them on the drive and then you will don't go through all of that do that beforehand keep the soft copies right on your systems one more thing that i would want to suggest right here is that don't try to minimize the window for anything right 
uh, turn off all the other applications on your system, remove all the distractions from your room, put your phone on silent and out of your reach, right? Because that's what they would want you to do. But once you minimize the window, you stand a chance of getting your test terminated. They would know that you uh, minimize the window. So don't try to pull any tricks like that. The min window must be maximized. It should be the only thing on your system. If you have certain applications running in the background that can give you uh, that can give you some sort of uh, notification or stuff. I'd suggest using focus assist on your system. You can just turn off the notifications temporarily using focus assist so you can uh, try that out as well, right? So there's, there's certain things and uh, yeah, one more thing that's really, really important right here is that sometimes because of the COVID situation and due to there being less proctors than the exam takers, Microsoft may sometimes cancel your test or cancel your appointment. That does happen, right? Don't, no need to worry, no need to panic or anything like that. If that happens, yeah, it's, it's bad that you can't take the test then, but they would give you a voucher that you can redeem it later, That a voucher that can be redeemed later to take the exam. So no need to panic, no need to worry. They'll send you an email saying that, yeah, we're sorry, we could not uh, do the schedule exam right now. You can do it at any time you want to. If you have any questions or queries regarding the proctored exam right here, you can put them down in the comments. Uh, I'm, I'm going to read them out and I'm going to answer all, I'm going to try to answer all the questions to the best of my abilities. Uh, if you are interested in material like this, if you are interested in cloud computing, feel free to subscribe to this channel and find me on LinkedIn, or you can find me on uh, you can find me on Outlook and give me an email. Right. So, all the best for your test. I'll see you around. Thanks a lot.